Hey, how's it going everybody? It's the Game Economist here, and today I'll be taking a look at the Old Wolf Curved Greatsword. So, this is a Covenant reward item. I believe you need to get 10 of the Covenant items in order to get the reward. And uh, you don't see it very often, and there's a reason for that. Basically, it's a weaker Exile Curved Greatsword. That's a pretty accurate description of it. They have the same range, they're the same weapon class, and the big difference between them is the weapon art uh, in terms of the moveset. Uh, Old Wolf Curved Greatsword has the, uh, it's like a backflip. It's pretty cool. It, it's very entertaining to, to use it, actually, especially if that last, that little backflip R2 kills the enemy. Great feeling. And the nice thing about it is it actually true combos with the neutral R1. So if you use a neutral R1 on Old Wolf, you can follow up with the weapon art and the R2 from the weapon art. So R1, weapon art, R2. Now, that being said, that's kind of where the fun ends. Uh, there is one thing about it, it has a passive uh, attribute, where if you get a multi-hit, you get a little damage buff. It's a very minuscule damage buff, almost meaningless. Especially meaningless because if you're using the Exile Curved Greatsword, which let me remind you, that has the same amount of range, you basically just do a lot more damage. It has better AR, the Exile Curved Greatsword does. At the same time, Exile can be infused, and Exile can be buffed if you want to buff it, you know, if you want to go with like a... A heavier quality build and then you see what I'm saying so between the two of them it doesn't really make sense to ever use the old wolf curved greatsword when the exile curved greatsword just does more raw damage that's very important in this game now for duels uh, there is one more downside to the old wolf curved greatsword it does pure physical damage that means it's going to be susceptible to having to deal with the black knight shield uh, so you've got kind of a slower weapon right and it does pure physical, and that's kind of that one-two punch knockout for weapons when it comes to really kind of high-level uh, duels. Basically, if you've got a slow weapon that deals pure physical, somebody who's very talented with the Black Knight Shield is going to run circles around you. <laughs> and that was the case. Every now and then I'd run into a Black Knight Shield, and it was a real struggle to win. Um, uh, same could kind of be said for invasions. A lot of players like to use shields and in invasions, and you see the Black Knight Shield every now and then. And yeah, it was just a lot tougher than I imagine if you had like the dark infused exile curved greatsword. At least the, the guy knows that, oh man, I can't just block this. I'm going to take a chunk of damage, right? So it doesn't really make sense to use the old wolf curved greatsword unless you're doing a cosplay or you just want to look very cool. But even with the cosplay, the armor is not that good. So getting 38 poise on your armor is always, it's kind of like a... Um, you know, it's kind of like, uh, that's part of the build, getting that 38 poise, you know, you want that. And if you're doing like an Artorias build, you're not going to get that. So, yeah, it's kind of annoying, <laughs> not being able to reach that kind of... It's too bad From didn't design the game, so that you have armor that you can pick for your, like, stats, and then a, a set of armor you wear over that, like the armor that you have, kind of like what they did in Terraria, where you have armor that's actually showing... You know what I mean? That would have been really cool for Dark Souls. It really would have allowed you to have the combination of function and fashion. But it's okay that they don't have it. I'm not I'm not too upset. So, all of that being said, this is kind of a mid to lower tier dual weapon. Uh, I would say it would be a solid mid tier uh, dual weapon if you could infuse it. But with it being pure physical, mid to lower tier. Invasion, a clear mid tier. When it comes to uh, invasions, curved greatswords tend to excel because they're really good at getting that last nice chunk of damage on an opponent who's trying to get away. He's, you know, in his dying throws and he's uh, rolling like crazy. Well, that nice chunk of damage you get from a curved greatsword really finishes off of, uh, you know, a match. And then pretty similar for PvE. You just have a better option, the Exile Curved Greatsword. Or the Herald, you know, I haven't even talked about the Herald Curved Greatsword. In my opinion, that's the best one. You know, why even use Exile? Especially why use Old Wolf Curved Greatsword in that case. But yeah, so for PvE, it's just kind of like a worse option, but it's not a bad option. So don't be afraid to farm this item and give it a try. So there's just one more thing I want to mention for those that don't know this tech. There is a way to shorten the time uh, in between your running attacks. Basically, you start running, you hold guard, and then you use the running attack, okay? A lot of uh, advanced players use that technique. It allows you to go into the running attack very quickly, and I expect all of you to get good at it because it's very valuable, especially for weapons like curved greatswords. Okay, that is everything for today. Let me know how you guys feel about this weapon, and I will see you guys next time.
Help me. Mmm, a fine choice. 